Chatty Dad one coming at you here today. Um, I'd like to get y'all's help with this, if you would. Um, I've uh, created a petition to abolish the Controlled Substance Act, allowing state dis distribution centers U.S. citizens have access to medicines they need. Um, you know, in the early 1900s, people could go to the store and buy medicines that they need. Um, the uh, Controlled Substance Act, what it did was just make these medicines not available anymore to people who needed them. The problem that they had back then was dosing. And uh, there's a lot of people who are suffering and who need these medications. And doctors are scared and are being arrested now for prescribing controlled substances. I'm talking about anything, you know, Tylenol 3, uh, uh, something for anxiety, I mean, tramadol, you know, right on up to morphine and stuff. Uh, there's people who are needlessly suffering from a lot of diseases, sicknesses, illnesses, and there's a lot of problems on the streets. These drugs are flowing on the streets and costing enormous amount of money. Um, you know, the, the DEA cracked down on doctors for prescribing them. So, uh, and I know a lot of people that I've worked with, guys that I've hired, that are in so much pain at the end of the day, they'll go and buy a 12-pack of beer and becoming alcoholics. And they'll be addicted to alcohol for the rest of their life. Yeah, these can, uh, substances can become addictive, but the whole world is addicted to coffee. The whole world is addicted to many things. Um, Tylenol, ibuprofen are some of the worst things that you can put in your body. But, uh, you know, with Obamacare coming, <laughs> good luck in getting to a doctor so you can get something for pain or anxiety or, you know, a headache or anything like that. Good luck. Toothache. I mean, this medicine should be available. Like, you know, you should be able to go into a store, go up to the pharmacist or whoever, and say, yeah, I need a box of such and such. Sudafed is now on this controlled substance list. You know, you have to show your ID and all to buy it. Um, you should be able to go to any store behind the counter. They should be able to give you the medicine and say thank you. There's other countries that have medicines behind the counter that you can go and buy. They got them on the shelves. Um, let's start eliminating some of these. This, this power grab that the government has on us over all these many things. And uh, I would encourage you to go and create a petition yourself and uh, you know and send it to me and, and I'll sign your petition um, let's think of some ways that we can start taking back control of our lives we should be able to self-govern our lives and be able to do the things that we need to do instead of having to suffer needlessly and watch others suffer needlessly because they can't find a doctor or they don't have the money and, and that's another reason some of these medications are so expensive is because they're, you know, not available like they need to be to the public. Um, anyways, if you would, please uh, share this with others. Um, go and support your other petitions that are on the site. Check them out. Sign the ones you agree with. There's uh, some other ones that I agree with about, you know, uh, control the amount of pornography on the internet, you know, limit it down to a certain degree, not see so much vile, horrible things, but 
people, we need to be able to self-govern, self-control, and, and be able to have the things we need when we need them. We don't need to have to go to an emergency room because we have a migraine headache and a Tylenol won't relieve the pain. Or if we're having an anxiety attack, have to go to an ER to get something for that. And then to be labeled a, a drug addict or whatever. People are going to get drugs, they're going to use drugs no matter what. Um, people are already smoking um, this fake synthetic pot. They're using bath salts because of this act. It's not allowing them to have the things that they need. And of course, people are going to abuse the stuff, but there's also medications out there that are not addicting like the other ones that are on this controlled substance act. They are controlling the medications that can be helpful to many, many people with diseases and who suffer tremendously. I see it all the time and I am sick of it. So please come and I'll put the link below to go sign the petition if you would. Help me out, I'd appreciate it. And uh, please uh, share this video with others and uh, create your own petition let's, let's, and, and make a video on it and share it with others and share it with me let's, let's try to take some of this power away from this humongous government that's just got its teeth into us bad like I say with Obamacare good luck on anything for uh, what you need anyhow unless this is abolished Let's abolish this Controlled Substance Act. It's bull crap. It was instituted because of the people over in England. They wanted control of all the medications. When you control medicine and help, you control the people. So help me do this, people, if you would. And uh, I'll put the link below. I appreciate y'all. Um, hope everybody's doing good. Um, and uh, pray for the victims in Hurricane Sandy and all there and, and they're suffering bad too and it's a shame and this is Chatty Daddy 1 God bless, good luck to us all over and out